it's no secret, I love vintage home decor. I love vintage home decor. To me, vintage home decor is really what helps you build and curate your home and set your home apart from any other home that you might go and visit. Vintage home decor, you have to go find, you have to go search for. It's not something that's just handed to you like home decor from your big box stores. I also feel like this is where you can really fine tune your home style and really create a home of your dreams. And I I just really love vintage pieces for that reason. One of my favorite things about vintage shopping is you never know what you're gonna find. Sometimes I'll go vintage shopping and have some things in mind, like I know I need a light fixture, I know I need this, or I will do some online vintage shopping on places like Etsy or eBay. So there are times when I'm specifically looking for something, but a majority of the time I have no idea what I'm gonna find, and that is so special. Also, if we're ever on a trip or I go shopping with my husband or a friend. I always have a story from when I found that piece. So the first item I'm going to share with you is exactly that. My husband and I went to Oregon for the summer, drove home, and we went to all the antique stores that we could on our way home, and we found this vintage light fixture. Isn't this gorgeous. It's glass and metal. And I just absolutely love this. As you can see, it has detail on the light fixture on each little point right here, which I just absolutely love. It is so beautiful to me and definitely goes with my style. But I want to know, just taking a look at this, where would you put this in a home? Leave it down in the comments because I, you know, I'm going to have to hang this up someday. I just want to see where your imagination goes when looking at this piece. Where would you put it? In a living room, in a bar, in a laundry room? Where would you put it? Now, behind me are some of my very special treasures. These have got to be some of my tops of my tops, starting with this light fixture. Now, I did get this off of Etsy because I have been looking for a marble lamp that I wanted to put in our kitchen, and I just didn't find any that took my breath away. But when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it, and I obviously need a lampshade. However, I'm on the hunt for that, but isn't this absolutely gorgeous. I I just, I love this piece. I, I love it. It's so gorgeous. This piece is really cool too. This is how they used to melt down metals to make jewelry. I love this. I love the patina on this and think it was just something I haven't ever seen before and thought it was really cool. And then this is a piece I actually bought online as well. I just absolutely fell in love with this piece here. This is an iron stone lid that I will hang up on our wall eventually. And then this piece here is a vintage art piece that I actually tried to get in an auction and my friend ended up getting it. And I was so sad because this piece reminds me of when my husband and I went to Europe and just walking down, you know, the old cities uh, in Europe. And I just, I fell in love with this piece. Well, she ended up selling it to me and it is a piece I will hold on to for the rest of my life. When I saw this piece, what's funny is I knew I would end up with it, I just didn't know how. But, and then when my friend actually won the auction, I was so heartbroken, but it's mine. This little ointment uh, container that is like porcelain. I love these little containers for a bedside table to put headache medicine in. You could even put hand cream in here, you know, whatever, but I love these. I think that they are so fun to find. And then I have a little catch-all, a little stone catch-all bowl that I got at a vintage store as well. Everything's vintage. I'm gonna say this. I do this every time in every video where I will say, it's vintage. Well, this is a vintage video, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep saying it, I know it. This is a bigger version of, oh, it's so heavy, of that little catch-all. And this one makes its way all throughout my house. Right now I have my chestnuts in here for Christmas decor, but I put this in the bathroom with disposable hand towels. I've, I've used this for so many things. You can just put it on um, any sort of surface with a candle on top. Very, very cute. During Vlogmas, I went antique shopping and I found these two pieces. This is an old brass ashtray or cigar tray that I thought would be really pretty for a little catch-all or a candle. And then I also got this little container here, which I love. It looks like a little beetle to me. Like, 
I don't know, I love this. Again, for a bedside table, I love little containers like this. And this one was just way more special be to me because of all the patina it has going on. I love that. I also really love stoneware like this because these I find to be so great for my art supplies, whether I put, you know, paint in here, whatever, as far as like my paint tubes. I love these sort of things. So whenever I see these and they are in the condition that I love, I always grab them. But they're also really great for your kitchen. You can put like your garlic in here or whatever, all sorts of stuff in here. So I always pick these up. You could also put a floral oasis in here and make a floral arrangement with it. They're just, the options are endless when it comes to some of these pieces. And then I just have this vintage calligraphy brush that I absolutely love. Sometimes I'll open up a book and put this in there or put it on top of a book. It makes its way throughout our home as well, which I love. And then I also got this little caddy. I got this a few months ago for a little coffee station. And I want to do a coffee station video very soon with you guys. I know that they are super popular right now and I think you guys might like that. So I picked this up from my coffee station, never ended up doing the coffee station, but now I think it's time I pull it back out so we can do that. I found this brass trivet, which I absolutely love. I actually thought it was this way because that's how they had it displayed at the antique store. But then one of you told me in the comments that it was upside down and it's actually this way for Williamsburg. I love brass and aging brass. It's just one of my favorite materials. And I love this sort of very luxurious vibe. I don't know the right word. So if you know the word that I'm looking for, leave it down in the comments. Things that are just very elegant like this, like the writing and calligraphy and just details like that. So absolutely love that. This summer we were in Oregon and we found this beautiful little home decor store called Happen Home in Sun River. And my husband actually found it and took me in there and we got this piece here, which I got some more from them. And I'll show you once we make our way into the kitchen, but this is a brass little dustpan. And I knew I had to have this because I have never seen one of these yet. I picked this one up. I, I just, it's so cute. I love this. And I will use it as a dustpan. Right now I have a lot of my stuff stored away, but it'll make its way back out. I had to share this one because I cleared off my little bedside table. This one's actually used, usually tucked away with my Christmas decor, but this is a vintage cowbell and I just put a little ribbon over it for Christmas, but I would love to get some more of these. I just think that they are so beautiful for the holidays. As I mentioned, I love brass, vintage brass especially. So this brass, I think this is a, like an artillery piece, but I use it as a or artillery case, I believe. And I like to use this as a vase. Tulips love this. And I think it's the brass, but I put them in here and they are happy in here. So this is usually my tulip vase, but I use it for all my flowers. I love it. I think it's really special. I also thought about putting my paintbrushes in here. Love this piece, so pretty. Limestone bowls. Limestone bowls are some of my favorite pieces to have to put just on top of books or on top of things. A lot of the times when I'm decorating, it's just like something's missing, whether that's on a coffee table or a shelf or you know a little side table on the top of it. Whenever I put a little stoneware bowl on top, it always just pulls the whole look together. So I have a little collection started, starting with these and I definitely want to get some more because like I said, these just come in handy. So whenever I see them for a reasonable price, I always pick them up. And then the last thing I'm gonna mention in our room is our vintage mirror that we have on the other side of our bed. That mirror was actually passed down to my husband from his family and it's a piece that we will have forever. It used to be in the back of my videos all the time, but now it's just made its way to the other side and we love it. It's so pretty. It has just the most beautiful detail, which I have a new mirror from our house that you know is trying to look like that, but that's the real deal and we love it. In my kitchen, I actually have quite a few vintage items. I'm gonna start with a couple of stationary items that we have like in our drawer where we keep mail and things like that. So I have this vintage pen that I found and these are really cool because you can change out the ink in the inside. So if you ever see like a little pin, it just makes it a little bit more special to have in your home and you can, you know, 
make out your letters and things like that. So I love this little vintage pen that I have. And then recently I actually found this mail opener. And again, I just like to have things that have a little bit more of a unique touch to them and just make things to feel a little more special. Right next to our stove, I have a bunch of vintage pieces. <laughs> Almost everything over here is vintage aside from the actual wooden spoons themselves. But I have this clay pot right here that I think is vintage, but nowadays I'm not sure because there's a lot of clay pots out there. So I, I tell myself that it's vintage. I also have a little spoon in here and a vintage rolling pin that I just like to have. I don't actually use it. I could use it. It doesn't have any splitting or anything like that. It actually looks like it's in really, really good shape. I also have, this was actually one of my very early on vintage pieces, which is this little spoon or scoop, or I don't know what the right word is for this, but I usually keep my salt in here. I just recently cleaned it out. I do clean my wood with soap and then I'll put a little bit of oil in there. I need to put oil in here. So that's why there's no salt in here right now. But I just use this as a little pinch bowl and I love it. I just love how it looks right next to our stove. It just makes me so happy. And then I recently found this little recipe box that I picked up for the kitchen or maybe a gift, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it for a little bit. And I just figured I could put my like desserts in here or I have another really nice recipe box, but I could not pass this up. I just think it's so special. So I am going to put some recipes in here. I need to find smaller cards because the ones I have are just a little bit too big. So that's why I haven't started using it yet. And then the last piece in this little section right here is this mocajete. I love this. I like to put my garlic in here. I had some chestnuts in here. I do any, like you can put your limes, your lemons in here. I haven't used it, but this I could clean out really, really good. I can season it and I definitely could use this. I just haven't used it yet. I also really like to use my vintage wood. I do, I am not afraid of it. So I definitely do use my pieces like this dough bowl right here. I think it's really pretty. It adds a lot of charm to our kitchen. And like I said, I do actually use it, but when I'm not using that one, I have a couple other ones that I absolutely love. I have this one, which is a recent, recent purchase that I haven't got to use yet, but I love this. It's one of my favorite pieces that I found and it's because of the little handles. I love, love the handles. Now it is hand carved. I don't know how old it is, but I'm saying it's vintage. I got it in an antique store. It's vintage to me. And then this is one that you guys have seen so many times. I usually have this one out. I just like its shape. It feels a little bit more, I don't know, modern, if that's the right word. I also have a smaller version of this that's actually packed away, but uh, it's very similar to this. Very dark, beautiful. I love that one as well. And then another new piece that I love, I love, 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 and this will probably go outside, is this little watering can. It's an iron watering can, so it has some weight to it, but I just think, again, pieces like this are really special, and I really love adding just these special little things to my home, so love this one. Now, these might be a little bit dusty because I did not clean these for this video, but we have an open shelf right here that came with our apartment and I'm constantly changing that out. It's been a bar before, it's been all kinds of things. But right now I just have some of my new vintage glassware that I also got from that store I was telling you about in the room where I got the vintage dustpan. I also got these, oh yeah, these are dusty. Okay, don't look at that. <laughs> just look at the beauty of the glass. But I love these. They also had four other ones that I passed on. I only got these sizes. So I have four of these, four of these. And I just, I don't know, they were special. I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I had to bring them home with me and they're just so pretty. Look at the bottom. Oh, so good. Also up on the open shelf up here, I have a couple vintage breadboards. I love vintage breadboards. Doesn't matter how hard I try to find a breadboard that or a cutting board that is new and kind of vintage shape, nothing compares to the real deal. I love having those out there. They make me so happy. And then the last thing that I have in my kitchen, and I actually brought it in here. It is so heavy right here. I have two of these. Mine got 
all kind of scratched up. I love these. You can use these for your fruit bowl. I got to put it down. Let me just do one more little one of these so you can see. I love these. They are amazing. Not only for the kitchen to put your fruits in and your veggies, but also for a coffee table is really beautiful. Or if you had a big console table would be really beautiful on there. I absolutely love Love that piece. This area is probably my favorite area in our apartment. I absolutely love this space, but you don't get to see it very much because usually it is a mess back here. This is where all of my vintage finds ends up going, everything, like my packages. It becomes a mess back here. I figured I would walk you guys through and show you some of my very favorite pieces over here, like my desk right here. So this desk, if you've been around, you know I got this for my birthday and it's a piece that I splurged on and I absolutely love this piece. I'm very attached to this piece. Most of the items in our home are not too special and I'm really like, if something happens to them, I, it's fine. But this piece is very special to me and I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. And I imagine this piece in our home one day as like a console table or a table at the end of a hallway or like a pass-through area. I just can vision this in so many different areas. I it's it's my favorite piece. And then right next to it, you'll see this little toolbox. I got this for art supplies. Maybe one day it will actually be a toolbox, but love that piece as well. On my desk, I have all kinds of vintage pieces. These old mustard jars are some of my favorite jars for not only storing my paintbrushes in, but I also love these for florals. They make a really beautiful little bud vase for a bedside table. You can put your toothbrushes in here. You can do so many different things with these and they are just beautiful. I love them. And then this little vet box, I got in Oregon. I think I shared this in a vlog as well. One of my favorite pieces. I love this. I, you know, plan on putting some of my more not so pretty art supplies in here that, you know, like I have an eraser in there and different things like that that just aren't the prettiest. So I like that I can have that as an option. I have more mustard jars and then these art pieces are some of my favorite. So it's kind of ironic that I have a ship artwork in here because I do not like the ocean. I It's beautiful. It's terrifying to me. So it's kind of funny, but I felt super drawn to this piece and it's easily one of my favorite pieces in our home. This piece back here is super special because I found this a sketch of this woman and this woman reminds me so much of my aunt she just looks like my aunt and I, I love it so that's why I got that piece and then over here I have a vintage clay pot this is our bar space and on the bar space the vintage pieces that I have and love one is this soapstone little pot I love to put fresh herbs in here usually Trader Joe's will have their herbs that you can plant this is one of my favorite pots for that and then on the actual bar itself. We have this vintage little ashtray that my husband found. This is actually his piece, but I love it just as much as he does. It's just so pretty. I love that so, so much. I have my vintage little lamp back there and then this vintage artwork as well that I love. And then when you go down a little bit further, I have this little vintage trivet as well that I love. Absolutely love that piece. And then down here, this is a new find that I got. It's just a little vase, a brass vase. And then I have this brass ice chest that's vintage as well. The last few items that I have in my little office area, this chest, secretary, and then my new chairs. You guys would have just seen these. I just got these. I'm going to reupholster them, but they're living back here right now until I get them reupholstered. And then back here, I have this chest, which I vlogged when I got this. I absolutely love it. I envision this at the end of a bed in a guest bedroom with extra blankets. The inside is actually in very good condition. I just, I love that piece. And then on top, I have this secretary that I got this past summer and I love this piece so much. Now I got this specifically for all of my oil painting supplies. I have all my extra oils in there. I have my palette. I have some of my pieces in here. I have my little mini frames. It's a mess in there. So we'll go ahead and keep that closed. But that is what I have stored in this piece right here. I almost forgot to mention my milking stool here in our bathroom. This is right next to our shower, but I love this piece. It's one of my very early purchases when it came to items like this and I love it. I usually have a candle on top or I'll put extra little uh, shampoos and stuff like that if we have guests over. So definitely had to mention this as a favorite because it 
definitely is a favorite. All right, those are my favorite vintage pieces in my home. And just like I said in my other favorites video that I just filmed, I know I'm missing some. My vintage pieces are my favorite pieces in my home just overall. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, vintage pieces are really what help set your home apart and really add that special touch to your home. And to me, really takes a house to a home. I really love to collect these vintage pieces over time and curate them very carefully. Just be very, very picky when you bring these items into your home and get things that you are just going to love forever. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a day or two with another. Bye. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play.